As you guys might have noticed from part one, which focused on primary school photo day, check that out if you haven't already, link is in the description. You know that school photos just weren't my thing. <laughs> Late last year, I created a custom enamel pin and released it on my merch store without announcing it very much. So here it is. As a pin collector myself, <laughs> I'm super happy with the quality and how it turned out. The colors are vibrant and the gold line work makes it appear super shiny. There's a link in the description if you'd like to get one for yourself. Now, it might not seem like it, but there is a huge difference between primary and high school photo days. The biggest change was that the group photo wasn't just your whole class, it was now the entire year group. The process was generally a bit faster too because teenagers were so accustomed to it all by this point and they were able to do their own hair, blah, blah, blah. My favorite improvement was that there was no longer a creepy stuffed monkey judging your best attempts at looking natural. It's no secret that I am horizontally disadvantaged, so all through high school I sat here or here. Being seated for these photos was so awkward because usually there was a boy standing on a podium behind. This meant you couldn't sit back properly in the chair because you'd risk making contact with a very awkward area. Yikes! I became a seated student photo professional by this point as they drilled us with instructions each year and they were always the same. Right, listen up you worms. Back straight, butts as far as back in the seat as they'll go. Knees together at all times, hands resting naturally on them. Right hand on top. Pull socks off to an even height and put your hair over your shoulder. Big smiles, no blinking, maintain a good posture. Throughout my high school days, I ditched the plaits that I rocked all the way through primary school in favor of something even less interesting. Just, just straightened hair. However, in year eight, I was feeling adventurous and thought it was about time to go for a different look. My absolute go-to hairstyle during early years of high school was a side ponytail. Something I would never do now. But I wanted to get it curled, so I tried this technique of curls with a straightener and... Uh, it went like this. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe I need to put hairspray in it straight away. After all, I have plenty of time to experiment. <laughs> Jess, we have to go soon. Coming! Stay. Do you ever just get those school photos that just look off? Like, they're not horrifyingly bad, but there's just something that doesn't look right with them. Sometimes it will be a beautiful picture, but there's a strand of hair doing something it shouldn't be, or something about one eye slightly askew. Other than my weird smile, which was still making appearances from time to time, this was my worst high school photo. My smile was a little... I looked like I was going back to my roots. Not to mention the clan of pimples chilling on my chin. I looked like I had no idea what was going on in my immediate surrounding or in my head. The flash must have caught me a little off guard too because my eyes... Yeah, anyway, it was this same photo day that my friend missed her bus and couldn't get to school after spending literally all morning curling her seriously long hair. All she got out of it was this snap story which read, Curled my hair for nothing. Sad. If you guys couldn't tell from Joe's past inclusions in my videos, he's a little different. Who's Joe? Joe, mama! When it came to school photos, he was on a quest to make the most ridiculous face that he could get away with. Now these are legitimate examples that he managed to pull off. I know I've talked a lot of crap about this photography crew, who after all these years were still doing our photos, but... This really puts the icing on the cake. Every stab I've made at them is justified after they made this terrible move. Basically, in the later years of high school, we had a normal school photo day like any other. We went through the usual process for individual photos, no problem. It came time to receive our printed pictures later that month and this 
is what we all saw in the group photo. This was scary to look at. The company had gone in and photoshopped all the short people's necks way longer. Imagine all the time and care in order to make this monstrosity happen. But why? Just to make the people's heads line up a little more evenly? You think this fixed the problem without creating new, much worse ones? Nobody could believe their eyes. <gasps> <laughs> Needless to say, the company had to reissue the photos at their own expense without this ridiculous editing. Ew, get out of here. A new company was hired to handle the school photos the following year, to nobody's surprise. On a side note, by the time I hit my final year of high school, year 12, I remained one of the shortest in the entire group and still haven't grown much more to this day. Wow, amazing. The boys used to be roughly around my height, but now I had to crane my neck 90 degrees just to see their faces. Thanks to this new photography company taking over, during year 12, we were allowed to take one mock-up group photo after we did the professional, sophisticated group shot. Minus Joe, of course. This would be the last school photo we ever took and was a really nice way to end it all. For this photo, we were allowed to do whatever we wanted. We were allowed to bring a change of clothes for it. We could bring props in, whatever we wanted. Some people wore pajamas, others with oversized glasses, some with wigs, balaclavas, farmer's clothes, and even an inflatable dinosaur costume. The only catch was we were only given three minutes to prepare for this photo after taking the sophisticated one. And my change of clothes were on the other side of school. I was going to wear an inflatable costume. This now seems to be a running theme with me and I'm now noticing. <laughs> what a fashion statement. Despite running faster than I ever have before in my life, I got back to hear the crew asking everyone, Okay guys, do we have everyone? Who were already standing on the podium. Yep. R.I.P. Dinosaur Suit. You did not make the cut. But somehow, in this short amount of time, a group of boys managed to blow up a massive hot dog pool floaty? Yeah. That made it in. Quite impressive if you ask me. And with that, all my school photo years are accounted for. Let's have a moment to recap. I'm glad it's done and dusted. Big thanks goes to Alex for playing the photographers in this video, just like she did in part one. Link to her channel is on screen and in the description, as well as the links to watch the first part if you've missed it.